Hi, so anyone that knows me knows that I love the virtual desktops feature in Windows 10. It allows you to create multiple, multiple desktops that you can switch between, so you can have certain applications running on different desktops. Like for example, uh, last night I gave a presentation and what I do is I, I had a presentation on one of the virtual desktops, the videos on another that I tend to, to uh, look at, uh, the code on another, and then I can have, I may have multiple ones, uh, virtual desktops. Now they're really easy to use by the way, you could just do control windows key and you can go between them or you can uh, windows key tab to go between them um, and you can even rename them as of the latest windows, uh, windows release which is really good. Now as easy as they are I did wonder if I could do something quite clever like go to them via voice control which I've um, not quite done yet but I'll let you know when I get around to that but what I have got today is a um, Elgato Stream Deck and I'll show you. And I figured out a way how to put buttons on here so when I press them I can go between oops hang on, go between my virtual desktops. So there's my presentation, there's my videos, there's my code virtual desktop, there's my social media virtual desktop, and there's my cute cats virtual desktop. Because sometimes you just have a bad day and you need to smile. So I'm just going to show how I managed to get that working. Yes, I know other people love these virtual desktops, so they might find it useful as well. So let's go to the code one, because I can do that really quickly now. So what I have found is uh, a GitHub project by this person here, M. Schultz, called Virtual Desktop. And what they've done is they've written a wrapper around the Virtual Desktop Manager, and they've provided a flag that allows you to switch between these virtual desktops, either by providing the number of the virtual desktop or a, a name which can do a partial match on the name of the virtual desktop, which is pretty neat. Uh, and it's uh, I like this um, this project. So once you've cloned it and pulled it down locally, if you look what's in there, there's not a lot there, but that's good. It's it's nice and clean. You can call the compile bat file that will compile the executable, and then once that's compiled, you can call the executable and switch your virtual desktops by calling commands like this, which works really well. So once I've got that working, I then went and to my uh, Elgato Stream Deck app here, and you can drag these open icons, which can open an executable. I think you can see where I'm going with this onto the onto the your um, screen there, and you can give it a title like what I've done, and then you can point it an executable past parameters. That might be a bit small. There you go. So yeah, uh, and then I, I, that's it really. I've got some buttons on my Stream Deck that I can click and it will jump between my virtual desktops as and when I need it. It works really well. Um, so I thought I'd record this to show some people just in case you love virtual desktops as much as I can, uh, as much as I do, and you might find it useful as well. So there you go. That is how you can switch between virtual desktops using an Elgato Stream Deck. Thank you very much.